How are you doing? CSU Bucks. We uh, are entering Buck Talks and we're going to discuss basically how do you handle, handle or manage disappointment. Um, I don't think it's a relatively easy topic to discuss just because when someone is going through disappointment it's not usually a, a joyous time. So um, as a coach, as players, uh, and this goes across uh, NCAA teams across the country, we've had to overcome uh, a bit of disappointment in the fact that our season was canceled. Uh, I shouldn't say canceled, but postponed to the spring. Uh, but with that being said, um, there was a level of disappointment, obviously from the coaching staff, but also for the players specifically because they look forward to playing uh, every fall. And, and so that idea of the season at that particular time, uh, having an unknown about whether or not soccer would even exist uh, was on the table. And so I think it was really uh, appropriate uh, to speak about this just from our perspective uh, as a team. And, and again, I'm probably a bit reflective of many of the NCAA teams that are uh, in this situation uh, right now. And so uh, I just know that for us, uh, disappointment typically comes in two ways, whether it's through uh, people um, or even circumstances. And so uh, the putting your trust, putting your friendship and relationships, and obviously trust being a very valuable tool uh, within that relationship uh, allows you to establish a set of um, reliability, trustworthiness, uh, genuine uh, relationship building out of it. And then for me, that component is critical to having any type of healthy relationship. At the same time, those times whenever you put your trust in people, sometimes that lets you down. And, and you see that a lot of times, uh, unfortunately, and, and a lot of times those um, disappointments can be temporary. Uh, you also have the circumstantial uh, disappointments, which is probably what we are addressing here more so and, and something that we just can't control. Um, obviously, COVID has uh, ravaged the country, the globe. Uh, and so for us, it was more of a season uh, that was taken and in the circumstances for us was uh, a little bit more tame um, versus some of the circumstances that were going across the, the country in regards to maybe a more permanent uh, loss. Uh, not so much temporary, but something uh, or somebody that was not going to return. And I think that is um, devastating and very tough to, to handle and grasp. Uh, and so uh, for us, as we talk about the season and how disappointing that was, I think it was important for us not to um, allow that disappointment to boil over uh, to uh, an, an immense unchecked discouragement uh, because the natural response is you're going to be discouraged and that's completely natural and that's fine. Um, but left unchecked, that can also start leading to a little bit of uh, disillusionment or even uh, depression or despair. Uh, and then I think uh, the further that snowballs, uh, you go into a, uh, a situation where it's very difficult to dig yourself out of and, and get to a moment of defeat. And I think uh, for us here at CSU, it's important that one, our faith is in instrumental in regards to how we respond to disappointment. And like I said, the natural response or the natural response will be uh, to be a little bit discouraged, will be to be down. And, and the response is what is going to be very important in the way that we help keep each other accountable. Uh, and even in those moments whenever maybe that discouragement or that disappointment is something that is much more um, deeper for other players and teammates on the team. Uh, and so I think that's super important. We see it all through history. Um, we've probably seen it in our personal lives, but I know, uh, scripturally speaking, Moses, David, uh, even the disciples, like all through history, people have been discouraged with the situation, with people, uh, and felt like their backs were against the wall. And I think it's so important and so critical that we understand that uh, that we don't trust necessarily the external factors and they don't um, essentially dictate who we are because our identity is found uh, in God. And, and so, and for us, it's really important that we understand that um, just so we have a, a stable reflection um, to go to whenever these disappointments it's occur. It's going to happen. Um, it is something that will take place. You're probably either coming out of it, going through it, or you're about to get in it. 
and it's one of those ones that uh, from a preparation standpoint it's important to prepare uh, and, and I say that in, regarding building up a strong foundation of community that you can rely in as well as diving into the word and understanding that you know this is this is temporary this isn't going to dictate who I am I can be discouraged but at the same time um, I have faith and I have hope that um, a greater good will come out of this uh, based on what we know uh, as believers and then I think as well as um, as well as that I mean it sounds simple but just being someone that's prayerful for uh, your friends and your family um, even the, the teams that commit to playing here at CSU and around the globe, I think it's important uh, to do that. And it's sometimes overlooked. It's saying, oh, what else can I do? Because we have this mindset that we have to work and work and work. And sometimes it's, it's positive to take a sit, to sit back and reflect um, on even the things that have been in favor in regards to looking at your blessings, all the things that you've been giving and friends and family that have reached out to help you get to where you need to be. Um, as well as kind of what you currently have. And I think if we journal uh, some of those instances, I think you'll find that um, we truly are a very fortunate um, group of people. Uh, and so, and then the last thing I'll say is persevere. Um, I, it's easier to say out here on camera as opposed to when you're going through uh, a situation that's very challenging and very difficult. But I think at, at the end of the day, we're called to persevere just like many people in history have um, and I think you can see that across the board um, historically and so uh, I hope that's an encouragement to everyone out there uh, I look forward to um, seeing all teams get back on the field not just ours but I, I love competition and so I'm excited about that